Well, you should prefer a plain cold tap water because it's good for you, especially in this kind of aid. The editor who sends salutations, everybody! Welcome to the live stream. I'm just reading the uh, chat. You have to drink sugar-free things and you tried the sugar-free Red Bull. You agree it's awful. Yeah, Monster sugar-free is much better, but like I said, I don't drink energy drinks anymore, but I have tasted those. Your tap water has a problem with the pipes, though. There's a lot of iron in the tap. Yeah. Either cold carbonated water or cold beer. Well, I drink a lot of juice and uh, Pepsi Max. It's not really morning here. It's good evening. Well, good evening from me to you, mercenary. You made the mistake of buying an 8-pack of uh, of that to try out. Next time you try out a drink, you'll just get one small can. Lesson learned. Yeah, you should always just... If you're going to have first time trying out something, always get just one can. Or bottle, or whatever. Hey, Patrick! <laughs> you remember playing the demo long ago and found this game rather hard. That's uh, Kevin Mills on the suggestion list. That This game has been there for a long time, so... Gotta get through these... Uh, you know, all of these <laughs> games. Will this be a marvel of an of an adventure? Marvel Universe. I gotcha. Clever. Mercenary. Clever. At least I know that there's no Thanos in this one. Not gonna be doing... ...to kill us. I've never played this game myself, but I have seen... ...a little bit of gameplay about this. It's a very unique kind of a game, of an adventure game, so I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. But the uh, explanation on the suggestion page was that it's, an, it's a weird but irritating game. So, we shall go with that info. Great music too. Well, we'll see. We will see. You thought the pun would be about life, the universe, and everything. 42. But... Let's see what I'm getting myself into. Core Design Limited. Ooh. The people who made... Uh, that one shooting game. Well, they made the... Yeah, the Chaos Engine. And... Uh, Zeno zip 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 dead zip dead zip dead zip 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 zip. Why can I not remember the game's name? It's something too. No, that was Bitmap Bros. Yeah, I'm forgetting everything. Yeah, this is the Amiga version. Yes, yes, yes. Well, of course it's the Amiga version, Goblin. But this is Amiga Commodore 64 night. You should know that. Hey there, Jump. You were more curious if it demanded the player to be a Superman. Marvel, indeed. But Superman is not Marvel. Oh yeah, you forgot. <laughs> well, I'll take that for a dollar. Hey there, hells. Well, let's choose English. Because it's a language. Different background? No, I don't have the green screen on because it warms up too much. The story of Boris, chapter one. Clearly, we'll have to place him in the Deadpool. <sighs> okay, stop with the Marvel Universe jokes then. <laughs> You've done enough. I'll give I'll give you one more Marvel Universe joke mercenary. Just one more. So there I was, adding some phrase to my top computer animation, which I'd knocked up on my recently acquired 35-bit excellence engine, when mom shouted out, or shouted up. She wanted me to take some mail over to Uncle George's. She probably just wanted to say, yep, yeah, okay, mm hmm I zapped off down the road through the center of town, that nowhere is available place called Ashby de la Zouch. Always wondered about those names. Some places are actually named like that. Especially in France or such, but there are some in um, some American towns. The game is Universe. The recently fallen snow made it difficult to ride, and I kept slipping about like a mud skipper, falling off at least twice and ru ruining what little street cred credibility I had. Everybody was out that day doing their Christmas shopping and generally cluttering the place up. The torrent of abuse I had to endure due to several near misses still. 
When I eventually arrived at Uncle George's house, I was soaked to the skin and freezing cold and miserable. A tall, scrawny man wearing a long white coat appeared at the door a few moments after I had pressed the bell. Hi, Uncle George, I said. I've got some mail from my mom for you, my mom. From my mom. Ah, Boris, my lad. Do come inside. That actually is a real place in England. Ooh, these are British then. Once inside Uncle George's house, one could be forgiven for thinking it was some sort of mad scientist laboratory hell-bent on global domination. Strange gadgets filled every crevice and shelf, and shelves uh, had to be put up where they weren't meant to be, just to provide a home for some of them. Uh, here is your mail, Uncle, I said, trying to engage him in idle chit-chat. Or idle chat. You speed checked on Google for Super M and it autofilled in Marvel. Still not, still not Marvel. Talking to Uncle George was never the world's easiest task at the best of times, and now his mind seemed caught up in another of his bizarre inventions. He was mainly oblivious to the rest of the world. Would you like some tea, Boris? He asked. Wandered out of the room without saying. So picture me, if you will, sitting there in <laughs> Uncle George's sitting room. Surrounded by piles of technology so incredibly superior to my pathetic 35 bit XLS engine, I was like a kid in a sweet, sh sweet shop. I felt compelled to so jump out of my seat and do some serious snooping around. What was Uncle George so tied up uh, in uh, that he was so oblivious to the world? Curiously, I ventured down, the, ventured down the corridor. When I entered the room, I was greeted by the weirdest thing I'd seen yet in my uncle's house. Ashby, so similar to the character from Alone in the Dark. I think the uh, main character's name is uh, Ashby, I think. It was pod-shaped, large enough for a man to get into, encrusted with millions of flashing lights. It was also making the obligatory beeping and buzzing sounds that go along with those types of things. My curiosity was too strong, I just had to find out what the thing was meant to do. Stealthily I tiptoed across the room, floor of the room, making sure I didn't stand on anything too important looking at them. I was faced with hundreds of buttons, levers, dials, a twisty turny knob things. I didn't have a clue as to what knob did what and what which lever got the thing to work. I had to press something, didn't I? Nope, nope, no you don't. But... Oh, there he goes. Doing that one stupid thing that he shouldn't do. Pressing a button while going into the uh, teleporter from uh, the fly. So now we're in the metaverse then. Yeah, he was reminding me of the fly too. That's what I was referencing. You find yourself on a small barrel-looking planetoid that is apparently floating somewhere in space among a cluster of other asteroids. The strange turquoise atmosphere seems very thin, yet you are able to breathe normally. The gravity on this small planetoid is very weak. So what would I fit in for the sake of the joke? The player be a Hulk? Uh, kind of doesn't work as well. Now Hulk and NES? Alright, dropping the point. <laughs> well, there are... Dozens of superheroes in the Marvel Universe, you could pick up anybody, I mean, any of the X-Men, Avengers, just random. So many to choose from. But why would Google autofill it with Marvel? Because Superman is not Marvel, Superman is DC. I mean, he, he's in the Justice League with Batman, Cyborg, Wonder Woman, Alien, the um, Martian Manhunter. All the others. Justice League is like 50 superheroes. And he has now teleported himself into space by not entering the correct coordinates. Game over. All graphic text adventure game reference. No, I can't remember the game offhand right now. Must be one of those moon base uh, ones. Probably on the Commodore 64 could be. You went to Superman D and it did not autofill that fill for that. Google be crazy. Through the hazy glow of the alien atmosphere you see a larger asteroid which appears to be crowded with strange looking dwellings. There are lights on in many of the buildings and small craft can be seen flitting occasionally to and fro. So we're outside of Dark City. What? Where am I? 
The last thing I remember is a bag of flashing lights. Now this, I wonder if your Uncle George has come up with an incredibly advanced form of virtual reality. Or maybe that machine had done, has done something to my mind and I'm hallucinating all of this. Well, since I'm here, I might as well try and find a way out of this place. Alright, let's get to work then. My, that's a big satellite dish. Could be bigger. Yet another small asteroid. It looks like it used to be something, probably another satellite dish. They must have scrapped it when they got this bigger and better one. I prefer the new one. Hmm, signs of life. They've built a whole town on what looks like a huge asteroid. Looks like a service viaduct to me. Damn it, I want to hit the... I wonder where all these spaceships are going from and to. Service docked. So, pick up... Use... Options... Talk... Attack... Inventory. Let's see, if, what do we have? You aren't carrying anything! So, what options do I have? Insert, push and pull, in and drink, wear, throw, combine, open, close, jump. It's gonna be... Can't see the bottom half of the buttons, just to mention. Okay. Good that you mention. Because I thought I had put the whole screen there, but it's good to mention. There we go. Now you see the whole screen of the game. Let me just put it over there. Maybe size it up a little bit more. There you go. Now you see the game. You're welcome. And now you see the Karate Kid face for fighting. Thanks. Yeah, there you go. And all the other options are here when I push that picture. So there's a lot of commands to do here. That's good for an adventure game, if you ask me. But I don't like that there's an option for attack. Actually, the other options kind of remind me of uh, Curse of Enchantia and such. Oh. That was automatic. I'm not... Wow! You can really get around easy with this low gravity! It looks like a barren looking planetoid. It seems to be an asteroid. It's another asteroid. It's another asteroid. It's a, that's a small asteroid. It looks like a barren looking planetoid. If I'm not mistaken, that's a spinning asteroid that has something stuck to it. Can I not look at the thing that it's stuck to it? Here. Nope. Nope. Hit. Nope. Guess I can't look at it. So which option is the Rambo fighting? This one. You can see. That was not the wisest way to test that out, kid. Well, apparently to him it was. Hope that means combat is casual then. I hope so too. I hate when there's a f fighting in adventure games. Ooh, hello. <laughs> Planet Hollywood. It's another asteroid. That's a small asteroid. Space, the final frontier. Bent metal bar. Better pick that up. Gave me a thumbs up. So I did something right. Ah. That looks like a... Small walk. Welcome to the walk. Rock on. I guess I can throw that if I wanted to. Alright. Options. Jump. Just a jump. 
Can I jump on that? <laughs> Missed. I just want to see if I can jump onto that spinning asteroid. Just imagine waking in the morning and every surface would be painted full of those eye symbols. No thanks! If there's something in horror games that I hate, it's eyes like that. Just one eye staring out. It's creepy. It creeps me out. This asteroid talk is making you horribly annoyed. If he keeps talking about them, you're gonna become paranoid that this joke is falling apart. Annoyed. Leave the jokes in you to mercenary. He's the one. He's the one who's good with puns. Is is the spinning not coming? <laughs> I was wondering if it was going to come back, and it did, just as I left. Okay, time it right. <laughs> Can't jump out to there from here. Well, you are an eho. <laughs> Wee! Shall we try that again? I got a feeling we should get on top of it. Although it's not really the best idea. Let's just get... I can't even get back up there? Okay. You started and then realized that there's not enough words in English that ends in oid. So you have the mind of a droid? For a moment I thought that was an apartheid joke. Here's the whole thing that jumping is like on the eagle in a King's Quest 1. Probably is. A spinning asteroid! I've got a lovely muffin for you! <laughs> and I missed, somehow. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else on this asteroid that we're standing on right now. Another rock? I'm sure that these rocks will come in handy at some point. Would be really funny actually if uh, this is the wrong place to be right now and I cannot get back. Hey look! A, a distant red giant star. How do you know it's red? Looks pink to me. There's nothing to pick up. I didn't want to pick up anything anyway. Seems to be like another... Oh. I thought there would be like... Uh, shortcuts to the commands by pressing... Keys on the keyboard like P for pickup. But P is for pause. I mean it's a G for get or a T for take. Nope, no shortcuts then. Okay. Maybe throw the rock at it to adjust the asteroid's orbit? Eh, that could work. Yeah, yeah. We're all in this together, because I don't know this game, you don't know this game. Mm. That looks so promising. Hmm, an asteroid. That has something on it. Did anyone see the Blood Moon the other day? I read about it on a Twitter, but... That's all. Insert video clip joke from Star Trek here. Gainan, you're a droid and I'm annoyed. From Star Trek Next Generation. Hey, we made it! We. So, you're just gonna derp around there? Can we even do anything here? Can we use the rock? Uh, let's see. Push pull? You can't do, do that! Well, apparently, you can't do anything either. Where? Throw, combine, open, close. 
So we can't do anything to that thing. So this uh, whole asteroid is useless. Fine. Let's continue our stroll. Strolling, strolling. There wasn't also an info button, maybe it'll list the keys shortcuts? Eh, I don't think so, but let's see what it does. Now it just gives you the info about the scene, the copyright info, and uh, disk I.O. So I guess this is where I go save the game. Well, clicking on scene info gives me nothing. And apparently double-clicking makes him run. Yeah, I see something over there. Sharp piece of metal. So I guess now that we're closer, we can see what's on there. Can't quite jump to here, to there. How about from here? Now! Yay! Wee! And pick up. This music and atmosphere in this game actually reminds me of something. Hmm. You saw the moon last night. It was super low in the sky, quite eerie, but not as eerie as a blood moon. If this was leather goddesses of Phoebus, maybe you'd be looking for some lipstick? Never played leather goddesses. I know of the game, but I've never played it myself. Blood Moon didn't happen here in Hawaii, huh? It only happened in a, around Europe, I think. And maybe Asia. Only those places saw it. I'm not too sure, I don't remember. You gotta walk through ready if you get stuck, so just give me a shout out if you need a, a very subtle hint. Sure. For now, I'm just exploring. Aha! A piece of circuit board. Alright. So let's see what we got in our inventory. We got a bent metal bar, rocks, sharp piece of metal, and a circuit board. This has the familiar look of some kind of circuit board, though with some very strange components on it. A metal fragment with jagged broken edges. A decidedly average lump of asteroid rock. A bent section of metally reinforcing bar, perhaps a remnant from a man-made construction? Or... Well, we're on an alien place, so maybe not man-made, but something made. Oh, that's not an apparatus, Specky. We cannot use it. If it's a functioning device, then it can be called a, an apparatus. If we use it on something. Or for something. Otherwise, it's just a piece of crap. Or junk. Or whatever. There sure are a lot of asteroids around here. Quite the universe they got here. Second Leather Goddesses is the best one. That's a graphic adventure. First one is a text adventure. Oh. Since you live under a rock, what is this Blood Moon thing again? Is it like Harvest Blood Drive? No, Blood Moon is just the moon getting shadowed by something and it turns it into the color of blood, pretty much, or brown. So that's why they call it the Blood Moon. And in a lot of movies and games and everything, it, it's supposed to be like, Ah, it's a bad thing, it's a curse of the Blood Moon. Like in werewolf lore, it's supposed to make a werewolf stronger. Or something like that. So it's like you're taking a walk through the universe's dumping ground, yeah? Definitely. You love that movie made, the me made that, that meme. Well, not really a meme. Could have made it into a meme. Blood Moon also turns all non-basic lands to mountains. Hey there, Bikiv. It. it sounded like some cult stuff. Well, it is used in occult stuff and such. Lots of crazies come out when it's the Blood Moon, you know.
Yours was the magic the gather gathering thing. Blood Moon also turns non-basic lands to mountains. Ah. I used to play Magic the Gathering. Had a big uh, black and red deck. But that only lasted like a year. Hmm, an asteroid! Maybe I should give that to the uh, hero, the voice. That he sounds like uh, Paracarry from Paper Mario. The same voice. Or should I give him just keep the voice that I gave him already? I mean, this kid doesn't seem to be that bright. And I really need to jump on you. Come on. We can do it. We can do this jump. I'm sure of it. Woo! Just missed. Again. Magic Together is a way too expensive hobby for a budget. It's a fun game though. No. Like I said, it only lasted for a year for me. I lost the interest in it. Not to mention no people just didn't care that much about it anyway. At least I didn't care about it. I had Commodore 64 and Amiga. Why should I care about freaking card games? Well, I could really get into this low gravity stuff. I must remember to take some back home with me. Smart guy, this uh, hero. Very smart. <sighs> We're on it. But this guy's really smart, isn't he? You spin me right round, baby, right round, I fly around, spinning at that speed might it just knock you elsewhere? Oh, hopefully. Not. The moon looks bright orange when viewed from certain locations. It's really creepy looking, I guess it's sometimes associated with bad omens and a the occult. Yep. The game it likes it, it's addicting as F. You're heading out to Prague to play in the Grand Prix tournament next month. Ooh, cool. Send us pictures. Otherwise, it didn't happen. As did you, you prefer to play a control esque deck uh, with black blue. You played a decent amount on the PC game, the one with the two old tutorials that had the hilarious acting. <laughs> Made it. Thanks, heaven. Thank heavens for that. I thought I was going to bring my breakfast up. I really don't know what kind of a voice I should give this uh, hero. Ah, Jupp knows the pain that Gabriel has uh, when it, when I'm doing playing games. That I always steal his thunder as well. Why are you giving me this? What a weird place. This is looking more and more like a dream I'm not going to wake up from. Maybe I should try and make for those buildings over there. But how? Oh, well, if we fix the th things up here. It's a panel. The sword used for hiding important things behind. Alright. So let's use the panel. You can't use that. Well, I'm sorry. Let's open the panel. You can't do that. Maybe I was clicking the wrong place. Um, talk to the panel? There's no reply. <coughs> Pick up the panel? <sighs> this is going to be stupid. Insert the circuit board into it. You can't insert that object into that. Fine, I'll use the uh, bent metal bar on it. You can't use that! Why can I not use the bent metal bar? There. With. Panel. 
You can't use that. All that, it didn't work, mercenary. And also, I'm already ahead of you with thinking. How about use a rock? You can't use that. Push. Now I can see why they said that this is going to be an irritating game. It's going against all logic here. I don't think that's going to work, or something he said. Let's try again. Attack the panel with the bent metal bar. I don't think that would be of any use. Not yet, Goblin. I can figure this out. Attack what? How the pendle what? Small rock. No. Use a rock with the panel. No, I could do that. Let's see if I haven't done any combining, so... Sharp piece of metal with the metal valve. You can't do that! Uh, how about we... Combine circuit board. Can't do that! How about we throw a rock at the panel? I don't think that's uh, of any use. Maybe just jump across the chasm to the buildings with the low grabs aid and this is for later. Probably. Let's stand here, right at the edge. And then go for jumping. I can't quite jump to there. So he knows his uh, limits. Okay, so we cannot jump, so we need to get this thing to work. I still don't know what this music reminds me of. It really does. The whole atmosphere here and the music reminds me of something, but I can't quite grasp. I think the only use of rock on Dish is to play a game of rock, paper, scissors with remote friend. Probably, yeah. Only we would lose or win half of the time because we only have rocks. Okay, let's see. So. Use didn't work, talking didn't work, attacking didn't work, pick up I cannot even do. Maybe I could eat it or wear it, and throwing didn't work, combining didn't work, open didn't work. Push or pull. Insert the circuit board. <sighs> Insert the metal bar. Insert to pry it open. Should have known. That makes sense, actually. You don't just use it, you put it in there and then pry it open. Kind of makes sense. Is the console panel full of dish? So if I take use, it will use an item that I have. Uh, can I push or pull the panel? You can't do that. So what can I do? Console panel for the dish. You can't use that! Okay. Then I will insert the circuit board. 
There. That was a really strange feeling. It felt almost as if all the particles in my brain simultaneously reacted against them antimatter in this universe and their cognitive state was permanently altered. What's a bit weirder is now I can understand all those alien symbols on that information console. So now we can operate it. It's the console panel for the dish. Why isn't there just a uh, operate button? Oh, it's just use. Okay, so use it is. That's just, just uh. link up terminal points, connect channels, sell, set a filtration system, information pool. Locale Galactic Parallela. Locale? Flaf. Phalanop. Asteroid Cluster. Outer Galactic Perimeter. Quadrant um, Communication Realization. Travel is artificial. Converted atmosphere. Flux generated gravity. Galactic Communication Link. A terminal load point. Got it. No goblin, we just used the circuit board into the panel and it zapped his brains and now he understands the alien language. Virgan Galaxy Cluster, no further info. Right. Now the Universal Translator was the zap into his brains. Are you not even following this game? Do I need to explain everything that just happened? Jeez guys, come on, pay a little attention. Wake up. Grab a brush and put, a put on a little makeup. Hide the, sh hide the shame of the shakeup. Satellite dish looks just like the ones on Earth. Um, well, I guess they're universal. Because it's universe. Link up terminal point. Link to... 3Y. Connect channel. Open close. And every overall. Groove! A fully extendable service via duct bridge connector. Every home should have one. Sure. Truthfully, you wanted to say that electrocution causes his brain to go into overdrive. Maximum overdrive. Are we gonna see a Joker truck? Bearing on us? Maybe. You never know. Is there anything else that I could do here? For usefulness? Set filtration system? Cluster red zeta? Or cluster red delta? Filtration system off. Okay, so I guess I can't do anything else here. Seriously, what is this music reminding of? Come on, brain. It's a game somewhere. It's an Amiga game that I have played. A long time ago. I mean, my brain is like, you know this, this tune is familiar, where have you heard these kind of uh, sounds before? Maybe we should save after all? Ah, who needs to save the game? You arrive at the end of a kind of small street with strange buildings huddled on either side. The structures look well built, almost armored, but the overall feeling is one of the dilapidation and neglect. If there are any inhabitants in this place, they don't seem to want to show themselves. Maybe we should save after all. So save state. Universe. Okay. I'll make a save state, but... Yes. Weird. The 
looks like some sort of alien life form, clothed from head to foot in an old and shabby hooded, hooded cloak. Obviously, technology hasn't reached him yet. Well, clothing is not technology, it's just... Something else. Okay, let's go to options and this and that. Save. Goo goo. There, saved. There's a game you want me to try next time with Commodore. You must remember the title, though. Well, if you remember it, go to the suggestion list, Specky. You can always put it there. Hopefully the aliens turn out to be deep ones. Uh, hopefully not those, because then we will die. Definitely. So now after Star Trek references, we move to Star Wars with a Java wandering the streets. Not small enough for a Java. Maybe that's Luke Skywalker. He's going to Jabba the Hutt's uh, place. Can we talk to him? There's no reply. Okay. Nope. No reply. You've added leather goddesses too to the list. Okay. You don't need to tell me here, goblin. Just leave it to the suggestion list. No need to tell me what you've added here. I'll just look up the suggestion list at some point. Otherwise, you're ruining the whole surprise, man! Leave it as a surprise for me what you've added there. You're gonna spoil everything! It's a ventilation shaft. It reminds me of it reminds me of an air filter in my dad's car's engine, all by the big bigger. If we shoot in there and say hello, say all of that to four vents like this, do we get a golden chicken? That's a Gears of War reference that nobody gets. Some oppressed looking alien dwellings. Well, as far as dwellings can look oppressed, that is. Oh, I also didn't know that that was a good thing to look at that. Ah, information network. Locale, terminal point B5Y. Public information station. Now this one. Curfew information. Inhabitants of Gavrick homeworld are requested to abide by the curfews operating at the moment. Any disobedience will be dealt with harshly. Notice two. Tax payments. Late or non-payment of taxes will be deemed treasonous by His Majesty High Council offenders will be uh, offenders will be dealt harshly. Rebellion. Rebellious activities, especially with this system, will be dealt will be dealt with harshly. Examples have already been made as warnings to inhabitants of the Falanop system. We sincerely hope that no more are needed. The High Council thanks the people at the planet of the end of notices no further info. You've only played the Gears of War 3 and it was ages ago on the Xbox 360. Uh -huh. They're great games though. Excellent! My mind is translating those alien symbols for me again! The information looked a bit ominous though. Oh really? Didn't notice. You played that back in the day, absolutely loved it, and managed to complete it too. Guess you can read the alien words, but you can't speak them yet. The sound do feel like many 4X space games, Masters of Orion, Star Control, and many other had this kind of generic spacey soundscape. True, although I never played Master of Orion. I do have it on GOG, but I've never played it. The Star Control, well, the first game didn't really have that much music. But Star Control 2 had this kind of music, yes. But the earlier music was reminding of something else, but I still don't know what it was. You start to have a 1984 vibe from this game. True. So can we go inside? I can't, you can't do that. Oh, how about we open it? Maybe there's a doorbell that I need to look at. It's a keypad made for alien hands, but I reckon I could use it. Well then, let's use it. Yay. Uh, 
Very friendly. There must have been some form, some form of alien abuse. It sounded something like a set of false teeth going through a cement mixer. Rattling, huh? Can we... Uh, is there a keypad over here? Let's see what that does. Apparently something else came to the door again. We just can't see it. Oh, great. I skipped. Let's see if we can get the one he said. I'll just wait. I guess this guy doesn't want to talk to strangers. He's still at the uh, door. Okay. It's past curfew, he can't afford trouble, he can't afford Jack, and he is Jack, Zork Grand Inquisitor. Okay. <laughs> Never played any Zorg games, so those kind of references go past me. Maybe somebody got it. Excuse me! Can I pick you up? You can't pick that up. Okay. Hey, there's a box on the ground. Food container. Sounds good to me. Boop. Yay, we got a food container. Now what? There seems to be some kind of discarded fast food container. Oh, it's McDonald's. Good to know that even space has McDonald's, the golden arches. Some infested in the dwellings. Okay, what about this place? Doesn't seem to be a panel there. Seems to be deep. I can't even go to my inventory to open things, so. So I'm assuming that it is empty. Hello, mouse. Come on, we can do it. I think I need to change the batteries on this thing. But would they call it a quarter pounder in that place? No, probably they would call it like a sleeper norger. Assuming that that's the kind of alien language that they speak here. <sighs> Can I give items? Or maybe I need to eat and eat or drink at this food container? You can't eat that. Um... At least I got it, mercenary. So what's in the box? Absolutely nothing. It seems to be empty. You can't use that. Okay. So can I go where he's going? Apparently not. How about this side? Nope. How about the vent? Can I use the vent? You can't use that! For the waft of the still air, I guess this is an exhaust pipe? Maybe you have to act rebellious on purpose to throw a rock at him? It's an idea. We'll just have to wait until he appears, or it appears again. Well, there's uh, the other alien at the door, but let's see. Throw small rock at a hooded alien. I don't think that would be of any use. How about we throw the small rock at the, this keypad? <laughs> Apparently, that's a keypad. Another door. I wonder what kind of an alien came out of that, because we don't get to see it. 
I think one of the most bizarre forms of alien communication expressed in fiction would be in the movie Arrival. True. Very true. It's another inhabited asteroid. It looks like a service viaduct to me. Yes! A spaceship! I want one! So what can we do here? I mean... Certainly it's not self-explanatory -expl here. Ow! Okay. Ouch! Hmm. Good start, boss. Is that what you call yourself? Your name is Boris and you call yourself Boz? I'm really starting to like this guy. What do? That's a good save name. What to do? I can't move. Guess we just need to wait for... I guess this guy doesn't want to talk to strangers. His head has been zapped and now knocked around. You give the, you have to give his thoughts a minor amount of leeway. No, nope, he's dumb from the beginning. So I don't, I don't, uh, I judge his IQ by all of his actions and what he says. He's a dumb idiot, and he will stay as a dumb idiot. way I could go then. Good that there was indications that that is exactly the area where you can go. Around the corner and the buildings form an enclosure. An unhealthy smell pervades the air and a well-armored robot hovers by every now and then. Perhaps for these reasons there is nobody else about. The entrance of the dwellings seem to be very heavily protected as if the local population are living in fear of something. Now, I wonder what? How about the oppressive uh, High Council that we read about? Oh dear! It seems that Boris has been captured by the evil Warlock King's robot patrol. No doubt he is about to undergo excruciating torture and suffer for the rest of his natural life. Oh, lucky! Game over. Well, that was fun. So apparently I can go here. <sighs> Ooh, a huge, nasty, serious, mean-looking robot. I don't think he wants to be friends. Can we not go back at all? Am I dead? Okay, I'm not dead. So what is this thing here moving? Must be just water. That door has somewhat decorated styling. That'll be the door console. It looks a bit involved just to open a door. A classic example of how technology makes the simplest of tasks insanely complex. It's a very, it's a well lit doorway. Looks kind of dangerous to me though. Hmm, a warning sign. I'd better take heed. 
It's a pretty heavy looking door. The sort of thing you might find in a submarine. Um, hello? Is anybody in? Who is it? It's happening again. I can understand what you're saying, even though you're speaking in an alien language. Can I move along with the... I'm sorry, but your words do not make any sense to me. Please stay away from my doorway and do not trouble me further. Amiga game? Yes. Stefano, it is. You passionate point and click? Yeah, I do like point and click games. I do love them quite a bit. Okay, so... Oh, no. Okay. I wasn't expecting to get out of there. I was hoping to just avoid the robot. Does anyone remember the name of a 4X space game that came out around the time of Master Orion 2 and was a clear clone of Master Orion? It's basically nothing unique to it, but it's just uh, a nice looking clone. I think it was only PC. No idea. So this was the submarine door. Can we use this? No. Can we open it? No. I don't trust it that it's actually starting, that the warning sign up there is actually blinking faster the closer we get. I should save. Save over what to do. See what happens. <laughs> we were pixelated to death. If you'd read the description of those guns, it would have said something to the effect of Ew, these look dangerous. You might have avoided Boris's untimely death. If you did read the text, then you're even more stupid than we thought. Wow. The death uh, texts are more harsh than they were in the Space Quest. Hey there, nap goes. Hello. You think those gun are guns up there above the door? Yeah, I saw them too, but I didn't care. I just wanted to see what happens. <laughs> just notice what happened to your green screen. It's right over there. I'm just gonna. I'm not just gonna putting it up because it gets too too hot. Too hot to trot. An exhaust port. Lots of nasty, noxious gases pouring out of there, no doubt. Anything else we can look at? Like this. Or oh, the robot. What about this? White noise. Or snow, as they say. Apparently nothing. No shows for tonight. Oh, uh, open. Is there any way of opening this at all? Can I push or pull it? Can I use uh, my bent metal bar with it? Fuck! Even in the future, nothing works. It's the only F bomb uh, in Spaceballs. So that's nothing on the ground. And that is definitely just water flowing. Anything up here? Nope. No exit.
Anything on this side where the robot goes? Apparently not. Yeah, hell yeah. The secret of Mid LCD, fantastic new point and click uh, for Amiga OS 4.1 and Morph OS. Well, I don't have, have either, so. Can I do anything with this guy here? It would be nice if I could actually talk to you or anything. Seem important. Instead, you just walk around, float around. So I'm guessing the uh, alien just shows up on the window of the door there. I guess this guy doesn't want to talk to strangers. I'll take any idea mercenary really. So I'll try that. I don't know how I'm gonna try it out but... Let's just get out of the way of the robot. So we use the food container with the door. Can't use that. How about use the food container with the key in? No? How about I just use this again? Um, hello, is anybody in? Who is it? Okay, so can't do anything with her. Oh, well, now we know how it works. I lost a rock. Hmm. What if I throw a rock at one of these? I don't think that would be of any use. Could have made the lasers shoot at each other. Yeah, those look dangerous. What if I throw a rock at this? Nope. What if I throw a sharp piece of metal at the door? What if I wear... Something. I can't wear the laser. Would it be funny if I just uh, steal the robes off of, off of this alien and just wear them? <sighs> Apparently... Oh! I thought that we cannot go back, but we can. Hit it with the bar and knock him out? I actually never thought of that. So, attack... This... With... Apparently not. We don't want to be violent without the uh, necessary reasons, I guess. How about a rock? No. Can I use the metal bar with the hooded, hooded alien? No. How about I throw a rock at him? No. What could we do? This is only promoting the very reason this place is heavily protected, yeah.
Figuritin. That's a good one. Apparently you cannot really name the save uh, files. Hmm. Let's see. If we can. Nope. Throw a rock at this door. Or at the willings. I'm supposed to throw it at the door. Nope. How about throwing a rock into the ventilation shaft? Or service duct? Nope. Hmm. How about... We get out of the way first. But... We throw a rock at this. No. We throw the sharper piece of metal. At the robot? No. We throw the sharp piece of metal at the lasers? No. It's a hatch of some description. How about we throw a rock at the hatch then? No. <laughs> Combine the rock with the. Uh, no, can't do that. Uh, how about combine the food container with a rock? No. How about combine the food container with the metal? Combine this with that? No. Come on, robot. Please appear. Is that a rat? You mean this? Nope, it's not a rat. Uh, no, not the throw. Use the bend metal bar with the robot? Nope, can't do that. Use this with the robot? No, can't do that. Uh... Insert this into then? No. How about we push or pull this thing? No. How about we use it? No, can't do that. An exhaust port. Hmm. What if we throw a rock at it? No. How about we use a rock with it? No. How about we... Attack that with that. Hmm. A robot! I've got a juicy little metal bar for you! Attack! Attack the robot! The, the, the door? No. Attack. Robot with. It was worth a shot. Attack the port. That. No. Attack the exhaust port with the bent metal bar. No. Attack it with the rock. No. Use the food container with the exhaust port. Too bad it's not a banana. That would have worked. <sighs> Goblin, you got any hints? Am I even close with anything here? Am I missing the most obvious thing? So it is the duct. So I was, I am uh, thinking that this is what I need to do something with, or are the, are you talking about the other ducts?
Two dots. Okay, so it's this, these dots. All right. So use food container with the uh, service dock. Can't use that. Use a small rock. No. How about we combine food container with... Uh, no. How about we throw the food container? No. How about we throw a rocket? No. How about we attack the duct with a bar? No. That's what I'm trying to do, Jup. That's what I'm trying to do. Exhaust pipe and ventilation shaft. So I guess we need to attack the smaller one. No. Push pull. No. Use food container with this. No. You throw rock at it. No. Use the middle bar with that. No. Use a rock with it. Use the sharp piece of metal. No. If only he was MacGyver, then he'd have duct tape. Yep. Well, apparently it's already annoying me, Goblin. So uh, I'm still trying. Attack what? That with that. No. Insert rock. No. How about insert the food container? No. How about insert the metal piece? No. Insert the metal bar? No. How about... No. Insert rock to this duck? Insert the middle piece. Nope. Insert the food. Nope. Are we even close, Goblin, into getting the uh, solution? Can't quite jump to there. So I guess jumping is just getting onto something, but not getting into something. You're going about it the wrong way. Okay. Hello? Anybody in there? How about in there? No. So it's an exhaust pipe and a ventilation shaft. Just using them doesn't help. Can I wear one? No. Push. Hey, I'm getting sucked in. The last remaining part of Boris after being shoveled up by an electric fan rotating at a high velocity in the service dock. <sighs> well, at least I got myself killed! Try filling the food container with noxious gases on the other screen and bringing it back here. Well, I tried using the food container already there. It doesn't work. Maybe I need to pull on the other one? No. Do 
So why doesn't inserting objects into there doesn't work, but when if I try to pull or push on it, it sucks me in. Have I even been close, Goblin, to getting the right command, at least? <laughs> Switch off. You did the right thing, but in the wrong order. What? Did the right thing, but in the wrong order. What? That doesn't help me at all. to go back here and use this? Oops. Actually, pick up that panel that we pried off. Okay. Actually, now that I started to think about that musical note that keeps irritating me, I think it is from Star Control 2. So now that the filtration uh, unit is off, I can actually go in there now. Excuse me while I check this out. Oh yeah, you were right, Goblin. This is stupid. And I fell off the world. With junk. That was pretty bizarre. I'd never been sucked through the middle of a planetoid before. I really should clean up those ducks. Look at all this garbage that's been dragged out along with me. Start picking it up then. Whatever these items are, we're gonna take them all. I'm not gonna examine them afterwards. That was all of them. Let's see what we got. So, a panel. This is the panel which I dislodged from the satellite dish. Why I picked it up is completely beyond me. Oh well. A crumpled handful of garbage uh, composed of strange alien materials. More and more of that same. A piece of highly reflective metal. How did it not be in the ventilation duct is anybody's guess. Well, I wonder where I need to use that. <laughs> totally bizarre. <laughs> Street level vents do look like trash cans. Yep. <laughs> no, not inventory. I need the yamp. <laughs> we Is there anything I can pick up on this or Hey 
there, JJ. It's always a pain to get sucked through your air conditioner to the center of the earth. Yeah, that's what the music is reminding me of, now that I realized it. Yeah, it's Star Control 2. This part especially. It's when you're exploring the planets, you, it, this is the, the kind of music that it plays. Welcome to the tour of the asteroids, we hope you enjoy your visit. And apparently, back stack, bad stack pointer on entering WHD load via exception level 3 auto vector. Restart. The game crashed. Isn't that always lovely? Guess who forgot to save? <laughs> I mean, even the WHD loads can crash. They're not perfect, you know. Especially if the game is an unstable piece of crap, apparently. Will you go into place, please? Jeez. Right. It's a lot of con condensation on the table. Not a good thing when it's a wooden table. And an old one that this one is. At least it's refreshing to have cold water. Look at this. Lots of condensation on it. Yeah. Okay, it's not that... It's not that cold, but it's wet. Because it's water! <laughs> English, please. Can we just skip this and get to loading? Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. What, 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 what? What? Options. Blip. 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 <coughs> there we go. So let's go turn this thing off again. You caused Ultimate Wizard during your streaming to crash twice. Oh yeah, how did your streams actually go? I didn't uh, ask. I have missed both of both of them, but that that's because I've been having a lot of fun f with friends during the weekends. So I wasn't able to catch your stream, some mercenary. Universe. JJ, it's called Universe. Filtration system off. Alright. Hack the planet to turn off the AC, become a chimney sweeper. Yep. Somebody's gotta do it. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. <laughs> no, I don't want to pick up. I want options, options, and save. Figure 10. And pull and push-pull. How does push-pull work on that? Is it like pulling yourself in there or pushing yourself in there? I don't get it. This game's a little bit stupid with the commands. Totally going against ad usual adventure game logic. That was pretty bizarre and all of that. Let's pick up all that stuff. Well, at least let's let's just take the mirror. We don't need that other junk. I just want the mirror. That's what we need. Back to options. Save file. Figure it in. Ah, we're already here. Good. Now we just wait for that uh, asteroid to arrive. Jump on it. Jump on it. And then we just jump off of it to get over here. Rip. Don't crash now. If you do. Warning you. Save file. Don't crash. 
Please don't crash. Ever thought about adding the game name and system to the overlay when you play one single game for the entire stream? Putting them to the top left near the potato squad would not be distracting, but might uh, deter a few pointless questions. Do I really need to? I mean, I don't want to clutter up the whole stream with all kinds of stuff. But it could help. Especially, well, it would help if I'm just playing one single game, yeah. I mean, people just don't read the titles of the... Uh, I always put the name uh, of the game in the titles. In some ways. Yeah, I know, Begemoth, I know. Hey there, Slater. Or just add a... Exclamation game command, which always reads, so Look at the title, you silly! <laughs> Yeah, if only there was a title for a stream, so... Got a couple more watchers boosting it to five, even if Specky was the only responding person, still failed with the bot, because Twitch refused to set up the second account. But otherwise had a decent time, hopefully you will get less flooding this week, so more time for prep. Hopefully. Well, let's hope so. Refused to set up the second account, you mean for the bot? Hmm. I don't remember ever having trouble setting up the bot. Didn't crash. Good. Now we can go destroy those lasers. So let's use... Mirror with Lazar. Oh. Okay. Uh, use... Mirror with Dar. How about we throw Mirror at the, the Lazars? No. Uh, wear the mirror? I can't even wear the mirror. Uh, insert mirror to Lazar. No. Attack the Lazars with the mirror? No. You made a second account and Twitch let you into it, but then when you logged out, it said the account can didn't exist when you tried to log back in. You even verified it with the email you got. Use mirror on laser. Sounds like a plot that only worked in the 80s. It should work here. It is a laser. But it's not working. We gotta think outside the box when it comes to this game. So attach that to Dan? No. Uh, how about we jump up here? Okay. How about we jump up there? No. How about we jump up on the Lazar? No. Well, I tried throwing it already, but it doesn't want to me to throw the mirror. Oh. Hmm, that's not what uh, that mean-looking robot is about. So I do need to throw the mirror at the door. So the lizards will do something. Right? Throw. Mirror. Mirror. A door. There. Who says computer games don't teach you anything? Yeah, who does it? Who says that? If you got a problem, go and see Silfina. I do not associate with humanoids. Okay. Hey! There it is again. My mind is somehow translating his Hangelian language so that I can understand everything he's saying. Maybe I should try and find this Silfina person. Silfina. Can you get anywhere else, like in another building? That's what we're trying to do here, Namcos. We're trying to get anywhere. This game is not very self-explanatory, you know. I mean, that was like the fifth puzzle that we have already solved in this... That we have solved so far in the game. And I've already played this for an, over an hour. This game is stupid when it comes to the puzzles. Silphen. 
That's good. If you got a search warrant, guess you're going to come in. So that did hate me. <laughs> what I was trying to say is that he mean this door or the where the girl is. Funny Slater. Very funny. Now let's use this panel. Hello, can I speak to Sylvina, please? Can I speak to Sylvina, please? Eh, say now you know my name. In that case, maybe I'll let you in for a second, but don't think I'm going to let my guard down for a moment. Please first show me some identification. I got a food box, a food container. I'm sorry, I don't have any on me. Well, you look harmless enough, but be warned, I do not trust people who speak in Erdic tongue. Erdic? Hmm. So that's what you call Earth English. Can you cross where the robot is, but when it's not there? Yep. If you if you cross the, the area where the robot is and it gets you, you die. We have already died there, Namcos. You are led in by a dark-haired woman. She looks quite normal compared to the other inhabitants of this strange world and has a pleasantly welcoming face. Her home has a very cozy domestic appearance and its warm interior carries unfamiliar yet very appetizing smells. Well, she's... Human. Uh. I don't know what you mean by Erdic, but thanks for letting me in anyway. What am I drinking? Juice. Just juice. Surely you don't know what that Erdic is the ancient dialect you're using. It is very rare to hear it spoken in these parts. Now, what is it that you require, stranger? Oddly enough, I'd really like to know where I am. Where? You're in Falinop, of course. If you claim to be lost, then how did you come to be here? Well, this is going to be to sound hard to believe, but only a short while ago, I was fooling around with one of my uncle's inventions. There was a big flash of light, and somehow I ended up here. Sounds totally insane, but that's exactly what happened. Well, it, yes, it does, actually. Tell me where you claim to have come from, stranger. I'm from Ashby, in England. That's on planet Earth. If it helps any. I do not know of this England which you prefer to. In which galactic quadrant is that located? Galactic quadrant? Uh, I think I'm a bit out of my depth here. Huh? You seem to be very disoriented. Are you feeling unwell? No, I feel okay, but I'm just very confused at the time, at the moment. You really do sound like you need some help. My name is Boris Vern, and I'm afraid I'm more than a little confused. Well, Boris, this is a humble asteroid cluster, the Phalanop, which used to welcome travelers and offer them our hospitality, but now the Imperial Prefectorate are clamping down on our population, demanding more and more duties to be paid. Just recently, my father was taken away by Imperial droids for, for failing to meet their extortionate um, demands, and no doubt it won't be long until it's my turn. For these reasons, the folks around here have become increasingly paranoid and distrustful towards strangers. There are many civilian security volunteers who are all too happy to sell out their neighbors for the sake of a few credits. Well, I can assure you that I wouldn't do anything to harm you. I just need to find some help to somehow get back home. But at the moment, the whole thing seems impossible to even take in. Boris, if the Imperial Joyce finds you, they will consider you to be subversive, should, since you have no form of identification. They will probably detain you and ship you off to a penal colony without question. <laughs> penal. 
if you want my advice, I suggest you get away from the Phalanop and find, make your way to the real world, where my friend Melina will be able to put you up in a safe accommodation. She and her friends on the real world will be able to hide you from the Imperials for the time being. Well, thank you, Sil Silphina. I really appreciate your kindness. And his headaches are getting worse. There it is again! Look, Silphina, I can't explain how I know, but the security droids are approaching your door! Wait! If you are found here, you will never get back to your... Earth! Go upstairs! I'll hold the droids down here as long as I can. They are more likely to listen to me. Go! Uh. Uh, up there. Um... Up there. Uh, Six six six. Okay. Um. It's the lady here. Yeah. Damn, she got effed up. Uh. Can't do anything there. Can't look at her. Oh crap! Looks like the main console for the house. Hey, I'm a genius. Uh, not really, because we're screwed here if we can, cannot find... Can't use that. Okay. Can I use this? Can't use that. Uh, can I use this? No, can't use that. Up to... Average run of the mill chair. Yep, it's a door. Surprise, surprise. Okay, let me see if you guys have been talking a lot, a lot here while I was reading that text. Still ponder if Rock the Snow Screen will do a thing. Well, maybe it will. I don't know. You don't trust you? I don't trust your kind of people. Oh, come on in then. What are you drinking? And that was the, uh, more like burpic. Well, any kind of fluid is later makes me burp. Any kind. She's smart enough to be fooled by a persistent land shark. I'm drinking a can of Hobgoblin. Solar system, Milky Way, they probably wouldn't know that, and maybe they just know the quadrants, the quadrants like in uh, Star Trek. Yes, I feel unwell, but maybe you can make me feel better. I bet we have to get her bad dad back. Hope you saved. Did it. Star Wars? <laughs> you got my got the notification that I went live. Now arrive on your mailbox. And sometimes they can be slow, you know. Know my name? Get in on the Underground Railroad. One, two, three, four, five. Strange, that's the same combination I have on my luggage. Maybe she has the code on her? Yes, you should search her. Yeah, surprise, surprise. Okay. She's untouchable. We cannot even do anything with her. So, how about I just open the door? Can I use this? Can I pick up the food? That's a... It's an antique vase, the sort of thing my granny collects. And I don't... <laughs> Attack the robot. Attack the robot. The robot. The robot. The droid. The thing that is attacking you. It's gonna kill me. <laughs> Being captured by robots in the kitchen is the most undignified end for our hero. Next time, find somewhere a little more glamorous to be caught. Okay. Yeah, I'll try. As you step out of the prison vessel, you realize that there will never be any escape from this penal colony. Your quest to save the universe, apparently that's our quest, has failed and you suddenly come to terms with the fact that you will never see your home or family again. You should have tried a little harder, Boris Vern. Well, you try to do this when you don't know what the hell you're supposed to do. And you did. Yep. 
Shoot the keypad and it may open the door. Shoot with what? I don't have any weapons. I don't have any kind of weapons to shoot with. You try to play the game. Looks like a thunderstorm just rolled in. Ah, great. Better is gonna have rain. Could you send some over here? We have had clouds, but it's a clear sky again. Use the liquid in the cooking pot to throw it against the control panel to short it out. I couldn't even touch that cooking pot. I tried to use it, but it wouldn't let me. Hello, can I speak to Sylvina, please? Blah, 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 blah. No, oh, she was opening the door. Oh, da -dee, da -dee. So let's see what the other options were when uh, we can tell her what's happening with us. If you could just tell me the quickest way back to Ashby, I'm really hungry. I could do with a bite to eat. I'll take that. I'm really hungry. I could do with a bite to eat. I wouldn't have to usually turn away the needy, but under present conditions, I am reluctant to feed a complete stranger. <coughs> what do you mean by present conditions? Surely you are aware of the oppression taking place by order of the Emperor King? Well, to be honest, I don't know anything about this place or even how I got here. You really do sound like you need some help. Tell me, stranger, what is your name? My name is Boris Vern, and I'm afraid I'm more than a little confused. Well, Boris is a humble if I Blah 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 blah. For reasons, credits. No, I can assure you that I Oh no, the droids are arriving. I don't know how, I know, but I know. Alright, options, info, disk, save, action, or action. Apparently I cannot do anything with her either. It looks like a main console for the house, and hey, I'm a genius. It's a door to somewhere. The, a kitchen isn't complete without work surfaces and numerous cum cupboards. Silvina probably keeps her shopping in these. Now you're really curious where the code is. You, you know it has to be hidden somewhere via adventure game logic. Yeah. I think I'll use. I'll think I'll use a shower to get clean. Be back in a bit. <laughs> Name's Vern. Boris Vern. How many numbers on in the code? Five? Yep. That appears to be Selfina's dinner. Mmm, smells nice. It's a keypad made for alien hands, but I reckon I could use it. It's too late here! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Okay! So if that word, can we now use the door? Can we open the door? There's nothing to pick up. What about the boss? A few ornaments just to make the place look pretty. Okay. How about options and load? Action! Yeah, maybe it is boobs. You never know. Eight zero zero eight five. Okay. It says okay, but it's I I'm sure it's not the correct one. No. At least the apartment looks normal. Uh, 
Maybe you have to convert Erdic or Earth or something else like that to the phone uh, to phone a number translation. Maybe the code is in the manual, copy protection, you know. So seven one five five one. Okay. I mean, if it says okay, that means it should be opening. Why can I not operate that? But I can operate this. Or apparently not. I can just look at it. It's not giving me anything. And I cannot do anything. Yet some more service ducts. These people are heavily into service ducts. It must be a national pastime. Even in this place of high tech wizardry, they still eat off of plates. Oh, what did you expect? This is the console for the f cooker. Settings include flat cold, quite warm, warmer, red hot, and a vindaloo. So maybe I need to use that then? Can't use that. Okay. I'm really running out of options here. I loaded the wrong file! Yay! Well, you stop working. I really hate you. I really need to get myself a new mouse. This one's breaking. Or I just need to get... Put new batteries in there I don't know load file action it's a bit dumb of it to say okay and Mercenary looked it up you have to you have uh, what you need to open the door you agree goblin it's stupid so I have uh, what I need to open the door okay What's in my inventory? Do I need to use this panel here? No. Oh. Can I pick up the food? Do I use the chair? Puzzle is easier than the last one. Climb into the garbage disposal unit on the left. What garbage disposal unit? I haven't seen a garbage disposal unit anywhere. That is Sylphina. She's half alien, half human or something. So now I can look at her. The last time I couldn't. I can't pick that up. Can I use her? Can't use that. Okay. Can I talk to her? Really? I'm sorry, but I really do need some help here. I'm sorry, but you have to leave now. You're no longer welcome. Please, do I let me apologize. I didn't mean to be rude, but I'm a bit confused. Could you please tell me why the present conditions mean you can't help me? Surely you're aware of the oppression of the blah 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 blah. I think I broke the game when I saved here. This is surely broken here. <laughs> there it is again. Security drones are approaching your door. Quick! And there they are. I somehow broke the game, that it thinks that she's still alive. 
<laughs> because we saved here. Because, because we saved here where the action should be happening, but it's playing the non-action music. Yeah, that is bad programming, yes. <laughs> oh, go on, you seem like a nice enough dead body. Let's just say that literally brute forcing your way through could work. So brute forcing through the door or something? You have the right idea, but not the right target. This door? Still in there here! No, wait, 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 wait. Gonna attack the keypad with it. There we go. There we go. Brute force the keypad, not the door. There we go. We got it. The upper floor has a single dormitory chamber. It looks high-tech, but very simple and sparse. The occupants evidently are unable to afford or indulge in many creature comforts. No, not pick up. Options. Save. More action. More acting. It's a thing people keep their clothes in. It's called a wardrobe. It's another console, probably the main one for the bedroom. It looks like a sub console. It's the window shutter hatch. Hmm, high tech, but it doesn't look too comfy. I got a feeling we need to somehow open the shutter. Can't do that. How about we use this? Can't do that. How about we open the wardrobe? Having a wardrobe has a real of the suit. Looks quite funky. Okay. Let's wear the suit. Meanwhile, downstairs. Open this door, submersive human oi. Resistance is. No, it's futile, not useless. Futile is the proper word. There. Now this is a pretty cool suit. It's even got a computer built into its sleeve. It also comes fitted with standard <laughs> Acme space compression pockets that you find in all adventures. Ideal for keeping all your collected items no matter how large or small. Great meta humor right there. Fantastic meta humor right then and there. So do I have more options now that I can do with the computerized thing? No, didn't think so. Resistance is useless is a perfectly valid quote from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Really? Don't remember that from it. But then again, I haven't read Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy in ages. So I've forgotten a lot about it. So, how do we open this hatch so we can get out of here? I would be more worried, JJ, of how the robot is gonna get upstairs. If it's able to do that, then we are screwed. Use the sub console? No. Uh, 
Whoa. Oh! Arm computer, ID card, and key card. Okay. So use the arm computer with the window shutter. Can't use that. Uh, use the arm computer with the console. All right. Use the arm computer with the soft, with the console. Use the console. Use the I/O network, domestic environmental services. Please select function: heating, air mixer, music, window shutter. I highly doubt it, mercenary. I highly doubt it. On the window shutter, please. I guess we're gonna have to jump! Whee! Oh, cool! A car! Or something. This area looks like a kind of parking lot for the. the. that end. Ver or. I think there's a typo here. Very streamlined vehicle. The craft has no visible wheels, so presumably it uses some other means of propulsion. There doesn't seem to be anyone interested in, the, in coming by this remote spot. Nice slide. Phew. It's a good thing this suit comes complete with a friction-resistant lining and the seat of its pants. My hovercraft is full of eels. Wow, now that's a cool looking car. Can you really call it a car? It's used. Can't use that. Arm computer. Key card. Can't use that. Just use it then. Uh. Jump in it. Strong Brad would be proud of you. Thanks, mercenary. Well, we're going. We don't need roads. Doesn't matter when you're where you're going. You don't need wheels. There's a low hum as the vehicle standby mode automatically kicks in and an invisible domed energy shield forms above your head. But the complex dashboard in front of you remains dark and lifeless, apart from uh, a single flashing light on one of its many display screens. Greetings, you, sir. Welcome to your PTV personal transport vehicle. No sit back and enjoy the ride on behalf of Kaitan Industries. We hope you have a pleasant journey. Thanks, I guess. Can't use that. How about we use. No. Status monitor. It's a card input slot for the anti theft device. Nope. Dip, 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 dip. No, not the monitor. I keep pushing the wrong button. Help. One of many monitors. Energy shield display. Fuel gauge. Navigation screen. One of many monitors. It's glad that I'm glad that he actually knows what all of these things are. No, 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 Insert the key card into console. There we go. Insert. That's what I needed. It's all coming to life. So now we use the console. Now we use this console. This one. That one. That. There. This is the PTV's anti-theft device keypad. It says that the number can be found in the PTV owner's personal manual. 
So this is the copyright, I guess. Yes, please. Because I have no idea where I would need to look for it. Unless it's on the... Uh... Well, I can't even look at the ID card. Actually, I can. Let's go to the inventory. Identity card with alien symbols embossed on it. Yeah, cannot even look at the number. Right. Eight... Seven, seven, six, four. Okay! There we go. <laughs> no need to bash that one in. And off we go! I mean, where would have you even looked for that? In the manual, I guess? In no time, the PTV space vehicle is hurling through space at a phenomenal speed with no specified destination. The vastness of space reaches away to infinity in all directions, creating an overwhelming sense of loneliness and isolation. When suddenly... Hey there, Christina Nader. Yeah, it's going well. It's going well enough. Got all of my usual suspects I'm watching. When suddenly... Unexpectedly, your vision starts to cloud over, and you see before you the deep blackness of infinity. You feel a trance-like state coming on, and a hole in space seems to open up before you, as your altered mind causes you to see events far across the reaches of space. Baron Khalif, there is a new presence in the vicinity of the Phalanop Cluster. The Supreme Cogniter has identified it as being alien to our universe, and one who could be dangerous to us. We must not allow the healer's legend to unfold. Seek him out and destroy him! Seek him I shall, my liege. Great. Just great. Okay, incoming transmission. Visual on. I'm not sure if I want that. Uh, that's what I thought. Uh huh, yeah. Totally agree. Uh, greetings, alien. Uh, thing. This is not like the like an entrepreneur to train a vessel therefore. Say the name and best make sure you have good reason to forbid him at Aaron, sorry. I do not take kindly to pirates. <laughs> Shiver me timbers, I'm no pirate. <laughs> What's it got to do with you, fatso? Hi, my name is Boris, and I was wondering if you knew how to get to the wheel world. That's no concern to me, scum. And on the other hand, if you have something to trade, maybe you'll try some kind of... Deal. He got that spaceship he was so interested in getting. Granted, it's more like Princess Vespa's ride. Flash! Ah! Savior of the universe! <laughs> Kiss my skinny white butt, Snorg, whatever your name is. <laughs> Sorry, but I've got nothing on me apart from a rather cheap ring I got from a cereal box. Okay, this time I'll let you off, but if I ever see you again on my trading turf, I better have something for me. Where else? I'll try to remember that. But you could have used the ring from a cereal box. On our on our world, it's quite inexpensive. I mean, very expensive. It's treasure. So, um, how do we operate this? Alien coordinates. Nope. Okay, which one of these consoles I need to use? Yet another console, another console, another console, another console. That is nothing. Where's the navigational system? Well, that's the navigation screen, but it's not on. <laughs> Use the arm computer with it? No. Is this alien just wearing pants like a costume, or is that body posture truly that alien? 
Serial box rings are always the final MacGuffin that reveals that you are a prince. True. True. Very true. So where's our Morg? Half man, half dog. His own best friend. Why can't I not have a barf? I would call him puke. Barf. Puke. Whatever. Where's my money? Anybody got any idea what I'm supposed to do here now? Talk to the mother? No reply. Yeah, but I don't know how. There's no console here that I could use. It just says yet another console, yet another console. And all the monitors, I know what they are, but... I <sighs> They're just waiting for you to stumble across the tiny micro button that implodes the universe. Uh, that could be a possibility, you know, with this stumbling around. I'll just make... I'll just save. Or I won't save because apparently the game decided to crash on me. Well, this is one un very unstable game. Could it even save the game? Sheesh. Sheesh! Sheesh! I say sheesh. Universe is rather unstable these days, apparently. So now. Yeah, yeah, low hum and blah, blah, blah. Uh, the, 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 the insert, the key card, and there. And now we use this. And the number was 87764. And off we go! In the two space again. Oh, so if I push esque, it doesn't pause the game or skip anything, it just makes you go here. So I will not be pushing esque key anymore. That was a that was just. Be game being badly programmed again, Goblin. If I push ESC, it uh, forces you to restart or restore. So, ESC is suicide key. Gotta remember that. I'm sure they tested it, but they just didn't know how to program an adventure game properly. Yeah, I should be safe stating instead, yeah. But it takes such a long time to go up there and save the state, and all over there, and save, and yes, and okay, we're back. Thanks too long. What a fun adventure game. I just, all I just wanted was to skip all this, but I can't when I push ESC. Usually ESC means that you can skip. Uh, not in this one. We're just going through all the speeches really fast, you know. And 
Official on, I am. Ah, uh, those are pants. Eating so anything. They spore us. Sorry. And away you go. All right. So now I do a save state instead of a normal save. Oh, I guess we just have to rely on the saving the state instead of saving the game. All righty. So what do I do to use this? I'm sure I tried that, but it didn't do it. I did that. I tried to use the monitor before. Unfucking believable. <sighs> Navigate course. The Miokil uh, Galaxy. The latter large she unexplored due to its remote position in the universe parallel. It's rumored that a strange and intelligent alien race inhabits some areas of this spiral galaxy. So that's the Milky Way, I'm guessing. Just judging from the uh, description. Zymar Asteroid Cluster, a treacherous vast region of planetoids. It is the main source of mineral resources for the Empire, docked by pirate hordes and competing mining companies. And that's the Fandalop. Luxus 3, barren planet, highly toxic atmosphere. Okay. Jors Leve 4, uninhabited rock planet, oxygen methane atmosphere. Balcamo 7, volcanic planet, thin cro rocky crust above a liquid core. Sounds delightful. That looks like a black hole, this one. It's a black hole. Warning! Avoid radial zone of gravitational entrapment. The Rognal Galaxy. Small but significant galaxy famous for its industry and harmony between many advanced species. The region is rich in natural resources. It's really starting to be like Star Control 2. Again. I thought I was there was a planet. White hole! Warning! Avoid core radius of cosmic emissions. Didn't know that there is such a thing as a white hole. Jut Fornus. This large uh, artificial planet is the primary commercial base of the Vergen Empire. Artificial planet? So that's a built planet? Wheel World. Artificial cylindrical planet. Trading post. So it's like uh, Babylon 5. Perimeter of Vergen Supercluster. This is a sprawling conurbation of uh, colonized galaxies spreading out the Virgos, the center of civilization. So what about this? The Great White Hole, the center of a vast cluster of suns formed as matter emerges from anti-space into the parallel, parallel universe. Chorus, capital of the Virgin Empire, a huge liquid planet with a single artificial continent island. Hmm, fascinating. As Spock would say, fascinating. The Mechanthalor Galaxy. This galaxy has been the subject of dispute between the Virgin and Mechalian Empires is unpopulated by intelligent species, but has valuable planetary resources. Okay. They're also very shiny up there. Darlar Darlar Curve, moderate-sized rock planet, volcanic, disputed territory. What about this one? Space Station, terminal for intergalactic travel routes. Okay. This is the outer route, I guess. Mechelian Defense Outpost, frontier post of a Mechelian. Empire, their continued presence threatens the interests of a Virgin civilization. Already looked at this. And Carlon 5, military outpost, oxygen helium coron atmosphere. 
Surf 2, Barren World. Helium core on atmosphere. Disputed territory. Another black hole. The Keywax Galaxy. Historically, this ellipsoid galaxy was rendered mainly in hand uninhabitable after a dreadful period of war, but has recently seen the rebuilding of planetary civilizations. Cool. Anything else? What about these planets? Is there anything? Galactic! Nothing on those. What about this one? Kalkum Galaxy. This moderately sized galaxy has a low population density and is dominated by the quadrupedal Kalkum species from which the galaxy derives its name. Ew. What about this? Megalox. Solitary star system of recently colonized planets. The Plexus. A region of crystalline matter forming a complex labyrinth of interconnecting strands. Its mysterious interior is mostly uncharted, but it is known to be infested with many bizarre life forms. I wonder if we're gonna, ex if we're gonna end up there at some point. Rengel 9, large gas giant rich in plasma fuel recourses. Okay, it's good to have recourses. And that's a white hole. Okay, let's see. The game is trolling you, uh, apparently. Probably clicked on the wrong pixel, you'd expect that expect that from a game like this. Now, how the fudge are you supposed to know which planet to go to? Well, we know that we need to get to real world. Probably the exit to the black hole. You read that as a virgin empire. Yeah, me too, at first. Theoretically, yes. That woman told you to go to real world, yep. Either that or the neutral zone. You can't travel to real world, your ship has no wheels. Learn! Laying course. Laying course to... Wheel world. Sector is out of range of current fuel supply. Well, screw that noise then. Where was a, where can we go to get some more fuel? Can we go over here? Nope, not enough fuel. Uh The brightest inhabited star system of the Empire from which the Virgan Galactic Cluster derived its name. Okay. And this was the... That galaxy... And this was just the White Hole. The Great White Hole! Wow! What a hole! So we can lay a course to this area. Do we have fuel for any place other than these other dangerous planets that have nothing? Say the say the state, say the state to universe. Do, 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 do. Welcome to seven seems the farthest in that galaxy. Try that since it seems you can't travel out of the galaxy. Well, uh, it would be nice to get to a place that might have, you know, inhabitants like this, but it's an uninhabited barren planet. 
Volcanic planet. Guess we don't have a choice. Laying course for this place. What? Why not? Maybe uninhabited, but it's a place we can go to. There's the planet, I guess. George Lev 4. Descent to planet. Can we now select the quadrant? Arriving on this world, there is little to see in the near vicinity. The thick atmosphere forms bands of purplish cloud across the sky and the somewhat featureless rocky land stretches in all directions. But does it always editor? This is not creepy at all. It's a fairly average rock really. But is it? Can we pick it up? No. Is it an average rock? Apparently it is. Hey there, Mikal. How's it going? So we can't go down. Why am I even here? I don't know. Seems like a cool place to... I thought this place was in uninhabited. An old man sitting by himself at the door of his shack tells me... Um, an old man sitting by himself at the door of his shack tells me that he's probably some kind of a hermit. What does he see in this miserable place? He's muttering under his breath and keeps looking around as if he's not alone. That's usually how the hermits work. Old creature. Now let's talk to the old creature. Hello. Yoda. Hi. Can I talk to you at all? Hello, I didn't really expect to find anybody on this desolate rock. And we never really expected to have to put up with the confounded visitors anymore. Not after all this time. How did you get here? Many years ago, we were traveling with a powered uh, space liner when we hit an asteroid storm and we had to attack to escape being killed. And we have been here ever since. We? So there are more of you? Of course, are you blind? <laughs> Weren't you in Star Wars or something? <laughs> exactly, that's why I gave it the Yoda voice. <laughs> oh yes, how silly of me. But your surviving hasn't been easy for us. Well, what do you live on? Because I haven't seen anything enough around here to feed a fly on. Well, we tend to eat anything that moves throughout the way I can lay your hands on. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't have anything for you. See you later, then. I think we will become, become food here if we're not careful enough. And no, don't save the normal way. Save with a safe state. Gotta keep remembering to do that. That don't save in the game. Just use this way. You didn't even see the guy with their color choice. Yeah, he blends in. Like, really blends in. Why do you live here all alone? Please, you have to that I already said this. Weren't you Star Wars or something? 
But you surviving hasn't been easy for us. You keep saying the same things, huh? I would have thought you would be happy to see somebody after living here all alone. But will we not? We've grown used to each other's company. I got quite happy together, thank you very much. Hmm. Yeah, right. What do you say, old man? But new surviving has been that easy. Is there anything else that I can look at here? This is the hermit shack. It's tatty and not very well kept. Even my old school by works uh, were better than this. By works, huh? That's English, all right, because it's a language. When they hailed together, that is. Not exactly my best style, but each one to his own, as the saying goes. Exactly. An old man sitting by himself at the door of the shack and telling me that he's going to have to get up to get up to get up to get up to get There could be gold in them our hills. Or perhaps not. Well, there could be. Let's go search. I guess we need to come back here once we have something for him. That's why I'm, um, that's what I'm thinking. So let's go explore the other planets then. Or maybe another quadrant of this place. So hop in! Gotta love it when the uh, games don't have very good uh, pathfinding, so you gotta do this uh, yourself. They really knew how to program this game, didn't they? Let's see what we have in this quadrant. Probably the same. It doesn't matter where I land, I always land in the same spot. Huh. It is different. Or is it? Durr, what the hell? Where? Yeah. This must be an indigenous life form. He seems to be occupied with that hole in the ground and what hasn't really noticed my arrival. That's a hole in the ground, that is. It's a fairly average rock, really. Not really, because it's huge. So it's, that's not a rock, that's a boulder. Let's save and see. If we can talk to this thing. Seems like a very nice chap. There's no reply. Okay. I'll just go around. If that's okay with you, Mr. Thingy, you. Ah, uh, I'm stuck. There. So he's some kind of an ant eater. Can we pick up the hole? No. Can we pick him up? No. Can I push him? No, I don't want to look at the hole. I wanted to look at the thing that it's eating. Fine. Looks like something you could make in spore. Easily could make that in spore. There's got to be something on this planet that is useful to us. Aha! Uh -huh. There's a rock! Yes! We have found another rock! For us to carry. Aha! We have taken your rock! Now we may leave. With the satisfaction of owning another stone.
Let's see what we find in another quadrant of this planet. Too dangerous due to volcanic activity. Mm. What about this place? Too dangerous for due to volcanic activity. So there are only two quadrants that we can use. Good to know. Well, ascend from planet. We'll come back here later. Navigate course. Uninhabited rock planet, and that's where we are right now. Luxus 3, barren planet, highly toxic atmosphere. Let's go check it out, because I want to go kill myself, apparently. I mean, it's fun, you know. How do you think the developers of this game were speaking of being stoned? Laxus 3. Descend to planet. Select quadrant. This one. It's too dangerous due to volcanic activity. How about this one? Too dangerous due to volcanic activity. How about this one? Too dangerous. How about this one? This planet is useless. Ascent. So I guess I was right uh, on going to that it's not useless. But I can't land anywhere. That's why it's useless. Unless there is something that I need from there, but I didn't realize what it is. Attack the monitor with this. No. It's, uh, Luxus 3. No, that was the very previous one that we were at. I moved already to another planet, didn't you follow me? Goblin at all. Nobody watches me. I just was in your sliver for. That's where we saw the hermit and the creatures. But I decided to move on to other planets. But your slave is the only one that has something in it. So. Just gotta go look around again. See if I can find something useful. Descent to the planet. Well, I couldn't figure out what to do. All I got was this uh, rock. Small rock. Yeah, probably is a timing puzzle to catch a bug. Yeah. I think that this is the quadrant where we find Yoda. Yeah, probably. I've got to get to the other quadrant. And a. a whoop! Weep! Blah. I think this is the quadrant with the ant eaters. Ah, more rocks. I'll grab that. There's more to explore here. Not much, but hey, it was a new screen. I was happy about that. There we are. So let's throw a rock at, at this creature. That's the thing we needed to do.
Or what we would need to do if the game would do it. <sighs> this pathfinding is horrendous. I can't help but feel partly responsible for the poor creature's demise. Hmm, a small blob thing. I'd move a house if I was him. Either that or get a decent front door. I can't help but feel partly responsible for the poor creature's demise. Well, you're the one who killed it, so... I can't pick up the blobs. Okay. I got a feeling I gotta do this to all of these creatures. So I can save the little things. The blobs. It's just a hunch. Options. Throw. Small rock. So how many more of these are there? You you can get through around a rock, right? This pathfinding is really really bad. Want you to save me sometime? Nah, I'm gonna be doing this and see what happens. Don't spoil everything. I already said if I need help, I will ask for it. You know how it goes, Goblin. No, don't ask it to reveal something. Only reveal when asked for. We're getting a lot of blobby blobbies here. Blobby 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 blobby. No reply. Apparently they don't talk. Can I eat them? No. Is throwing out blind suggestions classed as backseating? No, because if uh, the person who is uh, giving out suggestions, but they don't know anything about the game, it's not backseating, it's just throwing out ideas on what to do. And these things are really multiplying around here. Apparently they're also following me. Somewhat. When Spider-Man wants you to re reveal yourself, he will ask. So I'm guessing I did a good thing now. Pretty much all the uh, small blob things are safe from these creatures. And that's what I'm thinking of, JJ. That's what I'm thinking of. It's gotta be some kind of a use for these blobs. At least they're near the vehicle now. Can't use that. Now they could be dribbles, although that's not a good thing for anybody. Dribbles are dribbles are bad. Okay. So 
But did I do a good thing? <coughs> use food container with blob. Can't use that. Okay. Can I use a rock on the hole? No. Yeah, I will feed them jelly beans if I were a boy and they were my blobs. Too bad I don't have any jelly beans. Attack the blob! I wouldn't think that would be of any use either. Uh, throw the food container at the blobs? No. Jump at them! Oh! So you cannot jump there where they are. Or her. That makes sense. Are they still multiplying? Can't really tell. I guess there is a maximum amount to them. I mean, if they would still be multiplying, there would be thousands of more. And they really are. Right now. The whole quadrant is just nine screens, so... I'm sure I got rid of all the... the uh, Saved all of the blobs. Now I can become a slime rancher here. Give me all your blorts, please. I need the plorts to make money. And with the money, I can buy fuel. And with the fuel, I can get the hell out of here. <sighs> Any hints, goblin? Well, maybe if I do jump into the car, will they jump with me? Well, the path fighting is still horrible. You're on the wrong planet, that's what I thought. That's a good hint. So, ascend from planet. Well, at least we saved the, those little blobs. I'm happy about that. They're not gonna die. Uh, navigate course. This is the only place that we haven't visited yet. The Balcamo 7. So let's go. The Balcamo 7. Balcamus. Light speed. Descent. Too dangerous. Ooh. There's a place. You step out of the space vehicle onto the rocky surface of a hostile looking world. The ground under your feet trembles occasionally as the hot innards of the planet erupt constantly, breaking through its crust to form the surrounding gnarled landscape. There seems to be a little, if any, atmosphere, but once more you find yourself somehow able to breathe normally. I guess the universe has done something to our lungs as well, because we can breathe in these kind of places. Well, it feels like the whole place is going to blow up any second. What the hell are you? That's where the heat's coming from. I don't fancy getting too close to them. I'm lucky that they seem to be miles away. Good. Something in my favor for a change. The rocks on this planet are obviously a volcanic in origin. Well, that's just a guess, actually. I don't really have a clue. Hello? I saw you! These craters seem to be fairly common around here from what I can see. I can imagine the Earth being like this when it was first forming. 
First, the searing heat, then the gas, gas clouds are all coming together to form the clouds we all know and love. Then the rain, collecting to create uh, the seas and oceans, culminating eventually into the evolution of tiny single-cell animals. Oh, sorry, I digress. It's just a crater. What the hell are you? Murder up. What was that? I think our closer look is in order. Well, let's go. Pathfinding more than meets the eye. Oh, hello. I can't imagine anyone wanting to throw away this perfectly good droid. I suppose his previous owners didn't really make the decision, though, judging by the wreck of this in the distance. Can I just pick it up then? There he goes, into our pocket. Somehow. This is a Series 5 domestic droid with a pleth plethora of uses, namely litter collection, sanitation, pest control and food preparation, but not at all at the same time. Comes complete with an interface for all types of cleaning agents. So it's a Roomba. Awesome. Apparently, when, when the spacecraft tried to fly through the planet, it lost a few bits and pieces in the process. And this is a small result of that brave but stupid experiment. Strange though, I thought there would be more wreckage than this. So on this lonely planet there is one man and this right. <laughs> Should have known. Should have known. It looks like an old spacecraft of some kind. It obviously didn't reach its final destination though. I hope they were all buckled up because it doesn't look like they had the best of landings. That's alien drivers for you. So snarky of a British man. There's nothing to be picked to pick up. Ooh. Nothing to pick up. Now where is this creep? Sure, that we saw. Why the melee? Am I getting into dangerous territory? Okay. No! Oh, hello. Hey! He looks really clever, honest. What does he think he's going to gain by pummeling my car? Then again, maybe he knows something I don't. I wonder how he can see without any eyes. Wait a minute, is he laughing at me? Now my question is, this means war! This is one strange piece of work. Nasty too. Looks like my little sister. I don't like how much she is. A... Brutal. No reply. No reply. There's no reply. Okay. Got a feeling I should save here. Just to make sure that we don't do anything wrong. So how about I attack you? With a middle bar. I don't think that would be of any use. Oi! Stop it! How about I push you? Nope. How about I... Nope. <clears throat> How about I attack you with my trusty arm computer? Nope. How about I attack you with my trusty rock? Nope. How about I throw a rock at you? Actually, I tried that already. How about you? Nope. How about I eat you? That doesn't seem to work. You are some really weird creatures. 
Something cute about you, though. Can I just jump in? Apparently not. Because they're all in the way. Uh, anybody got any idea? Oh, but I insert this metal bar in the up your ass. No. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Would you like a food container? No. Would you like a droid? No, oh, the droid works. Or not. Seems to scare the droid away, so I need to do something with the droid. Let's see. Combine this with the droid? No. How about we combine the panel with the droid? No. Combine the droid with the sharp piece of metal? No. Can't. Try it. Does it work? Something tells you I need to do something different for each one of the three. Probably. Combine the food container with the droid. Nope. Does it work? Droid with an alien? No. With the panel? No. Well, the aliens are not annoying, the puzzle is. Take care, Petri. Hopefully you sleep well. Nope. That's not work. Let's look around if we can actually find something that we can use. I haven't really looked around that much. All oh, place is shaking. Ah, there is something. What is this? Looks like a can spray or something or other. Oh, it's got some lettering on it. I'd have to examine it more closely in order to read it. Well, let's pick it up then. Maybe it's an alien repellent. Never know. The canister reads Stitch That Trademark Pest Repellent for those larger than average pests. Kills all known pests. Dead. Do not ingest, do not spray in enclosed spaces. We were correct. It is a pest repellent. I ever did read that already. Let's make sure that we don't miss anything else. There's the spaceship. I don't want to read. Because I know it's a mercenary, so I'm not going to read. Use the repellent on these guys. I guess it's for the blobs. 
How about we use it on the droid? Combine the droid with the canister? I did it! Okay. So now we use the droid on the aliens. <laughs> gotcha. Now that's a handy domestic droid for ya. And there goes the eyeballs. So now we have a handy dandy droid on our side. Works for me. Droid said it's for use as pest control. Can you combine it with the droid since the droid scares the aliens? I didn't have <laughs> that one's just painted or something. Okay. Select quadrant. Let's see the other quadrant, see if we can go to them. Nope. Nope. Are the aliens still here? Probably not. At least the action music has stopped, so there's nothing else for us here. Why can you not jump back in? There we go. That kind of did remind me of the Pac-Man Ghosts too. So I guess now with the droid we can take care of the blobs or the old dude. Goblin, don't go! I'm about to end the stream! Because I think this is a good point to end the stream at. At least that's mine. Mine idea. Save. Actually, not, not save here. Maybe if we go... Up in space. Ascend! There's a much better place to save at. What? Ugh. Okay. Universe! What a weird adventure game. But it's kind of cool. Kind of cool. I do like his sassy British attitude of the main character. It does look like a screensaver after all. So you guess it's better. Yeah, kind of does look like a screen. Old school screensaver. Apparently Goblin didn't hear me and they're gone now. <laughs> He's gonna miss the end of the stream again. Oh, it's his fault for always going at the same time. Leaving here. Yeah. I'm gonna leave this here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue this tomorrow. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Uh, we'll see how I feel. Yeah, guys, uh, would you like to see how the game goes? Would you mind if I continue the game? Which one of you guys are interested in seeing the rest of the game? You guess that's enough of this universe. I suppose you should be feeling a bit Thor from all of this. Oh, artwork. Didn't know that you were here. You need to finish it. Yeah, go for it. Please do. Okay, we're gonna continue this then. Tomorrow. Yeah, let's do it. I'm kind of curious how the story goes. It's a, it's a really fascinating game, I do have to say. That it's uh, adventure, exploration... At least the fighting is not the kind of fighting that I thought the attack command. That you have to do some kind of um, action commands. But it's just another command to use as an adventure game. So yeah. I'll play this tomorrow. More of this. Make a whole series out of this. So thank you everybody for joining the live stream. Hopefully I had a good time. And tomorrow more of Universe. So until then. You guys take care of yourselves. A donation towards the exploration of uh, the infinite space. Thanks. Also thank you for the ear rape there notification. Jeez. But yeah. We'll continue this tomorrow. Remember, don't wear out your thumbs. Probably tomorrow I'll have the uh, green screen back up. Maybe. Uh, we'll see. If it's going to be a hot day, then the green screen is certainly not going back up. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Gabriel, you got anything? 
to remember about the universe or anything. I'll make another save. It's just to be just to be safe. It's good to have another save. Save save state there. Trying to burn enough time for gobs? Nah. <laughs> Goblin is going to miss the ending again. I don't care. Hold on. I okay. Now I'm I'm just uh, waiting for Gabriel. Technical difficulties. Uh, it doesn't matter. You know, YouTube, Twitch. Just say what you have in mind. If Twitch is not working, just say it on YouTube. Doesn't matter. It's gonna show up there anyway. You know. Gabriel always has a, another remember. A special one. Depending on the game. So that's what I'm waiting on now. Actually, while he does that... I'm gonna choose... I'm gonna choose the game that I'm... Game. The music that I'm gonna play at the end. Huh, I'll do. And remember, resistance is useless. Good enough. Good enough. So take care, bye, 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 see you tomorrow, all that, blah, blah. You will be emulated. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. See you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Do -do 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 -do.